playing. Somebody called me a fanboy for playing the PS3 version of uh, GT. I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, I only have two choices, motherfucker. Which, uh, yes, I was like, I just on wanted the game some. on one disc. I don't want to play it on two discs. Get the fuck it out of here. It is definitely you know? too. What's up, motherfuckers? NWN here, aka Dolph Drake, aka One Take Drake, aka Mayor of the City, and welcome to the Game and Illuminati podcast. We are the Enlightened Gamers, and rocking with me today, I got my co-host, the Luke Walton of Gaming, the one and only Game Fanatic. Give us your opening statement, sir. You wrote that shit down that quick, bro. Come on now. <laughs> Support Nintendo, though. That's all I gotta say. And uh, my other co host, the sensitive, light skinned nigga who will be waiting in line overnight for the new Drake album when it dropped this week. UTX JG to Don. Can we get your opening <laughs> statement? Hey, y'all will be right in front of me at Best Buy. Holla at me. All right. So, so first of all, my, <laughs> I can't even say that. All right. So my birthday was uh was this past Thursday. So I want to see happy birthday JG in the comments. Light skin. Uh, <laughs> second of all, I want to say. <laughs> second of all, I want to say fuck game fanatic because his Dallas Cowboys beat my St. Louis Rams. So mm. like I say, I say fuck him. That shit was a gimme. <laughs> third of all, third of all, John Jones won this weekend. So I'm proud of that. And uh, fourth of all, yeah, Grand Theft Auto 5, I beat that shit, so here we go. Mm, this nigga didn't take no shower, didn't brush his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> he just played that shit. Got and, up, uh, play the game, there you go. My opening statement for this week is fuckin4g.com. If you don't know what that is, it's a website, like a community where you can publish your articles from your website. And every time I post something on there, fucking, it get flagged for no reason. It's full of trolls and assholes who don't want to see no black person shine. So fuck them. Don't go there, even though you will. But anyway, if you want to subscribe to our iTunes, there will be a link in the description box below. I highly encourage you. If you want to have time to watch the video version, you can always listen to the audio version when you're working out or in the car or whatever. And if you're watching the video version of this podcast, make sure that you have your annotations turned on. And with all that bullshit aside, let's get into the show. Of course, like we said, it is GTA 5 weekend and the weekend week. And the hype is at a fever pitch. I'm talking about if gta 5 was a fever it would be bieber fever my nigga like (laughs) 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 and uh does anybody want to talk about their their experiences their first impressions with grand theft auto 5 so my my overall impressions of the game is definitely a huge step up from grand theft auto 4 a huge step up they put back the elements from san andreas so that's that's amazing Uh uh-huh the dry the driving is definitely better. It's more manageable. People say that it's I don't know. That's debatable. I feel like it's too loose. Like it feel like I, a strip of booty. Like when I'm driving, like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I kind of miss four now. I was one of the main people complaining about the driving on four. Because like but I think I'm used to it now, I'm like, ah. Uh, you drive a bus and it drives like a Corvette, and I'm like, what is this shit? Like you know what I'm saying? Man, I, I think you are exaggerating a little bit, oh, just oh, a shit. little bit. Oh, I don't shit. know. That joint oh, loose is Miley Cyrus at the VMAs, nigga. I don't know what you're talking about. But but then again, these are my opinions. So this okay, is how go I, ahead. I, I, Man. So I, I feel like the driving is a little bit better. It's a little bit more manageable because a lot of people did say, including myself, when I first started playing Grand Theft Auto 4, it's a little bit too realistic, even though I'm used to it. So I like the driving better on this one. Uh, the shooting is definitely better. They they uh, took the system from Max Payne 3, which is an amazing game. So the aim is definitely a little bit better and the cover system is better. So the overall shooting aspects is definitely a step up, a major improvement. Also, what they took from Max Payne 3 is the whole cutscene thing. There are I no, love it. No more loading screens when you do a mission now. So, once again, they took it from Max Payne 3. Great. Absolutely amazing. The cutscenes so, are, are loading screens, nigga. What are you talking about? I mean, you it loads. They are, are like, they are, but you can't. Yeah, you can't tell unless you're actually hitting X and skipping every cutscene. Like, man, unless, y'all niggas is full of shit. Unless you're impatient. <laughs> unless your ass is impatient. You won't even notice. A loading it, screen it, is a loading screen. It's, it's a seamless. Off. It's a seamless transition. It's a better. Though. It's a better loading screen. Is the okay. better. You go. Hey, he's gonna be the Charlemagne the God of this podcast. <laughs> yeah, he over here he going, going, going in real hard. You no, know, because because even in Max Payne Three, like when I played the game over, I actually tried to skip the cutscenes, and they won't let you until the game is fully loaded up. But still, it was a seamless transition. So yes, it is loading, but it's a seamless transition. 
when you go to the little marker, it doesn't go into the fade out. It tells it didn't load up the fucking cutscene. So there you go. So it is there anything that you disliked about the game? Yes. What? And these are these are piggy things that that I miss. Um, there's no gym. Why is there no gym? Yeah. Uh, I don't really care about that. They being <laughs> racist. They being racist because Franklin can't play tennis, but he can play golf. For Why real? He can't play tennis. Yeah. See, you spoiling the game. Yo. I ain't even that damn yeah, far I don't into know about it. That. Yo, come on, son. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out though. That's small. It's small. I would. I would. That'd have been the reason I could have raised, man. I can't raise. <laughs> now oh, you man. fucked up his whole let's play. What about you, I, Tick? What would you like and dislike about oh, it? Oh man, I only played twenty minutes of it, but from that twenty minutes, I could tell this game. Um, like I said way back in the day, it's gonna be better than San Andreas. Like, this shit is hot, son. Like, yeah. um, I wouldn't even do it. Shut up, bro. You nobody cares. <laughs> 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 so look. So the driving, um, I always wanted to drive and go back. I hated Grand Theft Auto Four's driving, but after playing the Let's Play so much, I got used to the driving now. And that was kind of weird transitioning back to how the, the old Grand Theft Auto's worked. I'm like turning into walls. I'm turning too sharp. Yeah, and all that it's stuff. real loose. It's like it's like Black China, you know. Yeah. So, but if I get used to it again, I'll probably like it and like it and all that stuff. But the game was good. The only problem I had about it was, um. If you ever go to the hood and you see all the females, they all fat, you know, like, and that was a problem. I, was I seen kinda... you tweet that earlier too. I was like, nigga, that's your complaint. <laughs> yo, cuz I want some variety. Yo, all the chicks out there was fat. You know, I'm like, yo, come on, son. So that's how they think we are in the hood. They think every every black woman in the hood is a fat woman. Like, yeah, it's fine. Um, well. There's one other thing. Like, you take a lot of shots before you die. Like, I, I disagree shot. on that. I don't know, because I did a Lamar mission with him and Lamar. Yet I can't, damn, I can't spoil it, because some people probably play it. But anyway. Everybody in the world has played this game, boy. Okay, just all right, get, yeah. Just get, when you get further, you'll probably change. You'll change your But, yeah, um, the mission where you had to go get the bike from the little essays, yo, and, like, um, I was getting lit up, but I didn't die. And I wasn't even close to dying. All right, well, one thing, one thing, I don't know if you know this yet, but they'll tell you when the little hint thing, but if you hide behind covers, even if you get shot, like if you go b- below 50% and you hide behind cover for a little bit, you'll regain your health to 50%. Yeah, and I don't like that. I don't like that regaining health thing either. That's kind of bougie. I mean, but. I, I um, think you need to regain the health because the cops in this game are fucking ridiculous. Jesus there you go. Christ. Twitter, 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 yes. Twitter, Twitter. I was playing that shit. I got like two stars. It's 100 cops on my ass. And I'm like, yeah, I'm I, dying I, left and right. I'm like, I what is this? Play. Like, shoot that hard though, son. Like, I got away from him so easily. But, I don't know what game. It might just be because I suck. That's usually the case. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Like you actually have to hide this time if you don't have right. a fast car. I like that. That's yeah, it. I do. No, I do but, too. I mean, okay, really but let good. me tell you what I don't like. Okay, so the, the right. cops are hard. But what happened was I was playing a game and I was stealing a car from somebody. And like any other GTA game, you're just supposed to be able to steal the car. And only normally when the cops see you that they'll start attacking you wasn't no cops around and i got a two-star for just stealing a damn car i'm like god damn this yeah, game you get one all right this game is doing yeah. too much can i have some People fun call, right? it's called People grand theft like, auto <laughs> i should be able to steal a car you'll get like one star and then if you start driving away then you'll automatically get two that's i'm like damn all right that's damn, right. the police yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> like some real shit they're trying to make it realistic that they're is like, too fuck real it, you, <laughs> like fuck it, you driving away we finna get your ass up. Yeah, but about the whole damage thing though, like yo, I got I got shot in the fucking heart. There was a big ass hole where my heart was, <laughs> and I was still walking around, son. And I, I thought that was kind of weird. And my homeboy Lamar, he had blood all the way from his arms to his legs, and he was still alive too. But other than that, yo, the game is great, and I, I like playing as Franklin. Um, or, well, I haven't played with anyone else yet, but I, I am like even Franklin. gotten to the third guy, the psycho dude. I'm only with the the rich dude and Franklin. Yeah, I'm just with Franklin. I played as a rich dude because you know the prologue you got to play as um, right. Michael. I don't but, even know that. We don't even know the names. We only know the black guy. <laughs> Michael Franklin. Uh, yeah, we, we, we got it. But right. I do like the Franklin motion catches, yo, because, yo, it's like, that's how a Negro really plays, yo. <laughs> I mean, uh, really acts. Uh, like the knockout punch, like I was doing that the whole time today. I ain't going to lie. I just kept running up on people and just knocking them out. And that was like a good fun moment I had for like a good 10 minutes. <laughs> and it's just like I said, it, it's realistic because they had the Jordan slippers. He walking around with Jordan slippers and socks. I was like, damn, this game is realistic. But I had some issues with it. It's a good ass game. I'm not going to lie. But I think most of the issues are like technical issues. A lot of It's a lot of texture pops in and a lot of the draw distance is terrible in the game. I, didn't, I wasn't really feeling that. And it but, don't really, it don't even feel like it plays at 30 frames per second sometimes. Like it really slows down. That's because it's on consoles though. And I, oh, I can already see the comments. These guys are, they just hate on consoles all day. They're PC. 
Shut the fuck hey, up. Hey, man, that's that's what it is. I mean, that's that's, that's realistic. Like, bitch. You're Legit. a PC if, elitist. <laughs> Somebody call me a Sony fanboy. Yeah, if this shit came on PC day one, I wouldn't even have got it on console. Right. I was going to play at 60 frames per second in 1080p native. This shit is not in 1080p. Sorry, yo, I'm spoiled. So think what you and want, you know, buddy. <laughs> that, you know, <laughs> did you see the news? With, somebody had made a petition to, for Rockstar not to make Rockstar. the PC version. That shit was funny. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's, this it's, is it's our game. Awesome. You can't have it on PC. <laughs> Get the hey, fuck what do you here. mean? Like, some of y'all console fanboys lost y'all damn mind, yo. I'm right. just going to tell y'all that. Some of y'all screwed up. When the, when the PC version drop, it will be superior. And what about, the like, graphically on, on Grand Theft Auto Five? Do you think it was a good-looking game? Oh, it's it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's pretty yeah, cool it's, just looking for, a, for it to be on console. It's pretty cool. I think it looks good for a console, but, like, I don't, I don't know. I think it's a little too bit too much hype. If you really look at the game, like, what it... Okay, the problem with Grand Theft Auto Four was it didn't use a wide range of colors. So it looked real dull, but in GTA 5, it uses hell of a lot of colors. And I think that's tricking people into thinking that the graphics are really nice. But if you really look at the game, the textures really aren't that nice. It just uses a lot of color that catches your eye. That's just my opinion. Well, Grand Theft Auto 4 felt kind of rushed. I mean, they didn't use a lot of textures. They didn't use a lot of colors. And if you look at the player faces, a lot of the motherfuckers look alike, especially all the white people. Like, they all had that same fat Well, nose. white people just look alike, period, so. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you said True, true. But, yeah, yo, like, they just didn't use a lot of, I think that game was just pretty rushed. Like, it, everything was rushed. You, you get on the radio station on Grand Theft Auto 4, like, the same songs play every single time you skip to the same channel, and it, that game, that game was just bad. Was but just, let's they talk. They enough facial recognition, but I, I think they, they use a lot more on this one. Let's Plus, since they, uh. What was the game? L.A. Noir. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that hype, though. That, that yes. hype that surrounded Grand Theft Auto Five. Like, Black Twitter it was out of control this week. Like, if you don't know what Black Twitter is, white folks, the black side of Twitter. <laughs> black Twitter. Follow some black people on Twitter. I, it, it'll guarantee a laugh, man. People posted pictures of them with they with they copy of Grand Theft Auto. Like, they the only motherfucker on Earth with the that game. Like, it. it's a world exclusive. Niggas putting seat belts on a copy of Grand Theft Auto with sunglasses. They sleeping with it, putting baby clothes. I'm like, what is you motherfuckers doing with your so life, yo? Facebook, they had some chips, so uh, a, a, a thing of weed, and the case right next to it. That was their whole day. It was like, this is about to be the whole night. And then, uh, did y'all see that video on Worldstar? The dude, he dumped his girlfriend on the phone while he was playing Grand Theft Auto 5. He's like, I don't need you, bitch. I got Grand Theft Auto. Nah, that's man. That's, that's, I saw it. I'm about to link y'all after the show. <laughs> That's, so that's wild, dude. Cause I, I saw people like uh, I ain't see that one, but I saw somebody. Um, first they posted their picture of the seat belt, then they posted another picture of of uh, the dining room table with no food on it, saying that my girlfriend didn't cook for me because I'm playing a game now and I ain't paying her no attention. It did some other shit. Like it was just it was just ridiculous. I'm like y'all are trying way too hard. But to saying <laughs> to say that oh man, my girlfriend gonna break up with me because I ain't paying attention to it. Blight. It's funny though because the women were doing that too. Like women were hella bitter Monday night. I don't know if y'all were on Twitter then. No, nah, yeah, yeah. Up. It's it's like, just like when sports season rolls around, like bitches just want to be relevant, so they start talking about shit niggas is talking about. They don't care exactly. about Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, they, yeah. They the like, girl, the a girl I'm cool with on Facebook actually posted Grand Theft Auto. I was like, word, really? You know your son gonna be playing that shit, not you. Right. They just oh. it's just the hype. They just want to get along. They want to fit in. That's all it is. They was talking about they hated though. They was talking about they, they, <laughs> they gonna hate. They they hate they men for playing. They was like, you gonna uh, you can buy Grand Theft Auto, but you can't pay your child support. And I was like, wow. Hey yo, <laughs> speaking of hype though, what about that YouTube hype though? Yeah, I'm talking. Woo! Like, I, what was oh, it? Was the, the day the day the game came out? I seen. I forgot which channel it was, but some big YouTuber. Had like 30, 40 parts uploaded already. And I'm like, I put up my one part and I was like, all right, I'm through. I'm just like, God damn, do you niggas go outside? Like, is it that serious? Like, you, <laughs> everybody bought this game. <laughs> Don't you know when you, over, like, YouTube is already oversaturated, but okay, first of all, you know everybody's gonna post it. Or do you seriously think you're gonna get more views than somebody else no. if you're not like being an exclusive person posting Six the videos? Video? Six videos in one day, son. I'm looking at it right now. Six videos in one mm. day of Grand Theft Auto. Y'all don't even play single player games. Right, you Why call the duty fags. <laughs> Why y'all posting Grand Theft Auto 5? Yeah, like, yeah, y'all will not touch Call of Duty single player at all, but y'all want to play Grand Theft Auto. Okay. 
I'll, what I'll what kills me is y'all support Seven these videos. people. Stop supporting these people, man. These motherfuckers play Call of Duty year round, and you think they bought Grand Theft Auto because they honestly wanted to play it and share it with you guys? They bought that shit for views. Like, get out of here, Joe. Man, man, man. I actually saw a dude. <laughs> I just saw a dude tweet and he was like, man, I don't even like Grand Theft Auto like that. He's like, I hate when I'm trying to do the mission and then I'm driving to the place and they talking, making <laughs> conversation. I was like, dude, have you even Are played the other Grand Theft Autos? Haven't they been doing this since like forever? How Come you on, dog. Scope? How like, you it's scope? So, you, we could tell you don't play that shit. Right. Like, don't even play the game. Why are you posting videos? Yo, people post like the videos of their customized car. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. They flexing on Grand Theft Auto with Check the Check out the new Lambo. My new Lambo Grand Theft Auto with the custom candy paint. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a few of those, yo. Like, it's insane, bro. Y'all some cool. Fucking cool. Speaking of Speaking of these Call of Duty fags, uh, I don't know if y'all see the news that Call of Duty Ghosts will not have quick scoping. How y'all feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like the first Black Ops again when people got upset and then oh, dude, JD twenty twenty when you said plus quick scope. I see that hella commentators, man. Hella commentators complaining and crying about this shit on Twitter. And I'm not gonna lie, like the fact that there's no quick scoping in this game, it actually makes me want to buy it now because it means the game is not gonna be purely based on skill, but it's gonna take more skill. And I'm gonna deal with you annoying little kids anymore. They ain't got me. I ain't stupid. I'm, I'm already on to them. So basically, they're not. They got quick scoping off because that's not realistic. But they have the marksman rifles which are going to take the place of quick scope. What is marksman rifles? Pretty much it's a sniper rifle with no uh, scope on it. Mm. So it's a fucking so, hunting rifle. Pretty much. That's what it is. Mm. Um, and, you know, I, I came from playing the original Call of Duty, and that's what I used to do was use the um, the, the sniper rifles without the scopes. Yeah, they one shots. I remember that. Yeah, they would one shot you, and you could aim pretty quick with it. That was your way of quick scoping back then instead of using the scope because they were actually the game was more realistic back then. Yeah, they had that in a oh. COD too. That's the first COD that I played. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. So that's pretty much what you're gonna have to run into. And so you're gonna have a lot of people running around with the marksman scopes just quick scoping the whole time. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> so just be aware if you plan on picking up Call of Duty Ghost this fall, you're a little ten year old fag. Just know it's not gonna be any <laughs> quick scoping and uh you're not gonna be able to start your clan to boohoo, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's move on to something Jeez. more important um pc gaming we on the rise we on the rise we may not have gotten gta 5 but steam valve has announced the steam sharing plan and for those of y'all who don't know let me give you a quick rundown you're going to be able to share your games with up to 10 friends on your friends list it's totally free the only catch is that you can't play the game at the like if, if you're somebody sharing their game with you you guys can't play the game at the same time and you'd be like oh if you think all oh, that sucks i think the beauty of this is this is going to help people branch out and try more single player games you're still gonna have to buy your battlefields your call of duties your multiplayer games to play with your friends but if your friends got that single player game that you want to play but you don't want to pay for steam share <laughs> and and plus it's something that y'all little xbox fag boys wanted right get duped on <laughs> get duped on and we don't gotta pay nothing we don't got no paywalls and none of that we don't gotta pay for steam itself steam is free you gotta pay for xbox live so Get the double dick, man. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's uh it's totally free. It's still like they just announced it, it's still in beta. So uh go go just Google the, the the Steam sharing uh plan or whatever. I'll probably put it in the description box below of the video if you want to try to get into the beta. It's gonna be real dope. PC gaming it, it's on the rise and uh the Xbox One, you guys could have had it. You would have kept that DRM, but you know, nobody wants that. Yeah, so nobody wants that away. bullshit. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, uh, there seems to be, I, I was reading the comments in one of my videos. Somebody was like, I don't like PC games. Because I was playing, I played, I reviewed the PC version of Rayman Origins. He's like, I don't like PC games because I like to play on my TV. And he's like, I don't like the DRM. And I was like, nigga, I was like, I play on my TV. Let, let, let's break the myths on PC gaming real quick. I play on my TV. All you got to do is plug in the HDMI port, just like your console. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of that majority of games on pc are drm free the only games i can think of that had drm off the top of my head were you were ubisoft games the yeah. assassin's creed yeah crisis um sim city but every other game and that's ubi that's ubisoft that has nothing to do with pc as a platform ubisoft is just fucking whack but other than that everything else is drm free so i don't know what you motherfucker and you can play your games offline so i don't know what these like it's a lot of ignorance going around i just kind of want to put that out there yeah, and most DRM games are ones that you digitally download. Like uh, Crisis 2, when you bought the CD-based one, it didn't have DRM on it. But when you bought it from Amazon, that's where it had DRM. So 
yeah um and another myth you don't need two thousand dollars three thousand dollars to build a solid pc all you need is you can build a solid budget pc 500 yeah 500 the same thing the consoles are going to do but you get but you'll save money in the long run because games are cheaper but i, I i'm done bragging because you know they're gonna call us pc elitists but you know what <laughs> it makes sense that they call us pc elitists we are the game and illuminati we are the elitists the enlightened ones <laughs> mm-hmm. so it makes sense uh, let's move on to the Sony camp, though. Um, Notice that I'm doing less hitting out of both of these guys. I just want to point that out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a light skinned nigga got to be different. Um, <laughs> Sony PS4, it's not coming to Japan until 2014. I want to see what do you guys think. Why do you think it's not coming until 2014? Because they're going to get a better one. <laughs> <laughs> My theory is it's, it's not coming to 2014 in Japan because maybe they know that they got japan on lock because if you think about it nintendo ain't doing shit microsoft never did shit in japan so they're gonna push all their money towards north america and europe and then when they got more supplies go to ps4 because they sony's already won japan if you think about it yep and then it's gonna be better they're gonna have siri on their playstation 4 and uh wait what <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I let that shit register. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Um, a big thing, uh, a big thing that happened a couple weeks ago. Machinima put out a video um, saying that the PS4 wouldn't be able to record gameplay. And then earlier this week, PS4 Sony debunked that myth by saying that you will be able to record gameplay. And uh, a lot of people were kind of putting down putting Machinima, but actually they were actually right. Their inside source because. I don't know if y'all seen on the news, the PS4 will be able to record gameplay, but it'll be right, after launch through launch. a patch. So that means their source was correct because they're patching it. Like right now, if you were to get a PS4 right now, you can't record gameplay. So yep. that means Sony's up to some seisty shit because mm-hmm. they didn't want you to like, imagine if Machinima didn't, thank God they did make that video. Imagine if they didn't, we wouldn't be able to record any gameplay and Sony fucking up and they just reacting like Xbox only because they got caught. They got their hand caught in the cookie jar. Mm-hmm. Like people saw them dumbasses, but yeah, just like you said, they they may have did the uh, YouTube community a favor with that. And right. if you all don't know, the PS3 also has HDCP on it. You know how we have to record on there, especially with the Elgato. We have to use the component cables or the D terminal. It's trash. Got that as a workaround instead of HDMI, you cannot record anything through yeah, people, HDMI. So people was getting on shit. my nerves on Twitter, like, oh, because I was talking about it. And like this just goes to show if you complain they'll change shit. Thank thank God yeah. for Machinima for yes. it. Yes. And it's uh, great. Yeah. people was just and one dude was in my mentions. No, it was like, like three or four dudes. I was like, how am I, I can't record PS4 gameplay? And they was like, well, the PS4 is gonna have the share feature. I'm like, motherfucker, I can't make a game review out of 15 minute clips. Like, do you know how that'd be hell on earth? That shit is not. And then it's gonna upload to the internet, and then I gotta download it edit it and then re-upload it to the internet the quality would be it's terrible like, garbage it, it would struggle. not work <laughs> like like it, it shows that like people really don't know how much work goes into recording gameplay and creating videos <sighs> if you think that if you think you're going to be the next super youtube superstar from the share button on ps4 you can <laughs> you can you can, you can die slow nigga. <laughs> yo like i told you it's always those people that's willing to just bend over and take it in the ass yo right. just because they're fanboys like that shit would have been so garbage Second of all, um, people were talking about, yo, know, you'll be able to strip the uh, signal and get it to work just like you did with the PS3. And I was like, nah, because first of all, they're actually monitoring your games on the PS4. Like, they weren't even going to let you record certain parts of games. Like, the developers have the, uh, they, they're able to stop you from download, I mean, um, recording certain parts of the game so you can't spoil it. So I was like, pretty much if you use the share button, I'm guessing they're going to put a watermark on this, the video itself. So if you do strip the quality, I mean, strip it so you can record it with your external like recorder, and you don't have that watermark on there, they're pretty much just gonna flag your joint and get and, you a strike. Or okay, in all honesty, even if you even if that was an option, who the hell is gonna do all that? Cause my black ass ain't. That's too much work. I'd be like, fuck it, I'm getting an Xbox. Like it is what it is, you know. Deuces, Sony. Right. These people was up there canceling their pre-orders as soon as they found out that like, well, I guess I'm gonna get an Xbox One now. Yeah, yeah I was about to get an Xbox One. I ain't gonna lie, and I was mad as shit that I had to do it too. <laughs> <laughs> even though I, even though I wouldn't get one day one, yeah, I was pretty much gonna think the same thing if that was true. So I'm glad that they changed it finally. And now the question is, how long it's going to take? Uh-huh. Right, like that is. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Actually, is it going to be like day one patch, a week after, or a month? Because that's going to be annoying if you have to make more than a week. That's that's really going to be annoying. Well, they said it's not going to be at launch, so it's going to be after day one. And yeah, I'm so guessing, I'm guessing three months, man. That would be <laughs> that's a all. All of this is a software patch, so it shouldn't take that long. Right. right. Keyword shouldn't, but we 
got to see how long they Let's really say on some Activision type shit, Ninja Turtles. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> they still ain't fixed that shit. Fuck Ninja Turtles. I'm over that game, yeah. Fuck, I, want, man, I, want, I want my money, money back. Right, dude. right. It, they, it, they should be issuing fucking refunds, man. But let's talk about something positive. Uh, PS4, not the PS4, the PS Vita TV. I don't know if y'all seen that. Did you see that at the Tokyo Game Show? I saw that shit. And that's the same thing we was getting on Xbox about. We <laughs> were? TV. Yeah, man, because the Xbox One was supposed to be a... Uh, Nigga, I don't think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> talking about the PS Vita. Go, go, right? go, go ahead. Hell, right? No, go ahead, Tick. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, nah, fuck y'all. Go ahead. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Go ahead and warn me. Okay. Because <laughs> he's about to look real stupid. The Vita TV, it's... um, it's. It's the um the PSP Vita, but you'll be able to play it on your TV, like how you could do on the Game Boy. Oh, it has I'm nothing gonna... to do with television, nigga. <laughs> you thought we were talking about a cable box, yeah. Well, to, to conclusions. We we supposed to be the enlightened gamer. You up here looking like a dickhead, but <laughs> who cares about a Vita though, son? Like <laughs> Okay, but no, but no, okay, but look, the price the the price point though, you gotta look at it this. This is my theory, okay? They're going for that for that Ouya crowd, like the Ouya was $99. The PS Vita TV is going to be $99. You telling me those 8 million people that bought the Ouya, they're not looking at their Ouya like a piece of shit when they could have bought this p- portable PS3, basically, with, with a few exclusives that personally I would like to play. Like, that's a genius idea to me. Like, they're not going for the, the console crowd, more the casual crowd. That's a good entry-level console. Yeah, it is. So, I ain't, I ain't mad. I mean, $99, I ain't really and it uses the, it. Uh, the DualShock 3 controller. So, I mean... It's it's ninety nine dollars just for the console, and then it's one hundred fifty for the console and the controller. If you already got a console, you could just pick up the, I mean, the, the controller. You can just pick up the, the Vita TV. I mean, that's kind of dope to me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty cool. Could have played that. <laughs> so uh, let, let's talk about your version of the Vita TV. What did you what, what features are on that? <laughs> Man, you got HBO on there. You got TNT. Um, you got Nickelodeon. You know, some people like to watch Nickelodeon, so. Got Nickelodeon on there, Cartoon Network, got all that stuff on there. This guy is a clown. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Crusty the fucking clown. Let's talk about uh, the Xbox camp. Um, Some pretty positive news coming out of the Xbox, but you know we're going to start with the negative. <laughs> Some features they were saying for the Xbox One will not be ready at launch, just like the PS4. And they didn't specify exactly what features, but like uh, they were talking about like the DVR, I think, and the Netflix and shit. Like... From my, from my understanding, pretty much you're only going to be able to play games at the launch. So basically, you're paying for five hundred dollars for some shit that won't even work at launch. They didn't say they didn't give a timetable when everything's going to be working. So I don't, I'm not understanding that Microsoft. Damn, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy because I know that there are some people who actually want to buy that console and the other entertainment. But you know they're not going to care. They they gonna take it right in the ass and just not even care. They gonna be like, I just want to play the games. Okay. <laughs> you know, they gonna, you know, like, gonna be like, and I'm not damage controlling or anything, but I just want to play the games. So. I'm gonna yeah, take I the X bone in my butt. <laughs> 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 what is it? Um, another another bad thing was the Xbox One. Um, the one of the lead designers was saying that you won't be able. Well, you you. It's not necessarily you won't. You're not recommended to stand your Xbox One up like you do the 360 because basically it'll scratch and fuck your disc up. And he was saying that the reason for that was it's a design issue with the disc tray. And I'm sitting here thinking it's 2013. Not that I want to stand my console up, but if you're going to advertise it where it can't stand up and now you're saying not to rec- not to do it, like, what sense does that make? Like, wh- what's the issue? Like, I like standing my console up. It gives me more room. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that, that, it gives you more room. It looks cooler. It's not necessary, but... I mean, I don't want it scratching my disc because I remember I stood up my 360 and it scratched up my original yeah. copy of Gears of War. I was kind of That's mad if you have it on, though, and you take it from it being laid down and picking it up. But, Clank like, I, I was, like, close to my table or something. I bumped into it, and I oh, learned the oh. hard way when it went over. <laughs> I was like, oh, yep. oh. I, but I've laid my shit down ever since. <laughs> my still <laughs> standing. My shit died. That shit to me, too. <laughs> I still standing. But uh, what the hell is this? 1996? Like, why are we still making consoles that lay down flat? <laughs> okay, add some style. But some positive news for the Xbox One. This is a dope ass feature. I am not gonna lie. The Xbox One's multitasking features will allow you to use other consoles with it. Where basically, you can plug another console, whether it be the PS4, 360, PS3, whatever console you want that's that's HDMI compatible. And uh, you can plug it in, and you can basically multitask, where the multitasking features will allow you to switch between both consoles instantly. So you could be playing your your Xbox One, and then you can switch over to the PS4, and it'll allow you to 
record PS4 gameplay. So that is a workaround until yes. they bring out that patch. But I mean, who honestly is going to be buying both consoles? What do y'all think about that little multitasking feature? That is hot because you can actually, it makes the Xbox One actually useful. Okay, so you could use it to play the PlayStation 4 or something that's pretty much better. <laughs> so <laughs> that's like when that uh, amazing. that's like when people say, uh, yeah, Internet Explorer is useful for downloading Firefox and Chrome. <laughs> yes. Like that is pretty much useful. I, I give Xbox a clap for that. Good that's job. a dope feature. I'm not gonna lie. That's that's kudos to Microsoft. Everybody I, I seems to think we First of all, every you know it doesn't make sense. Do you read the comments of the podcast? Like everybody thinks we're Sony fanboys. And then the, and they, they, we think we hate Xbox, but like we rag on them every week, both consoles. So. Yeah, we got on Sony like what was it, part two, part three? Uh, and uh, what, wait, what, what was it you said you want to talk about? Titanfall? Was it something you want to talk about, uh, Tick, for Titanfall? Motherfucker, you ain't write the notes down. We were sitting there telling you so you can write it down. Like, yeah, I, I wrote Titanfall, nigga, on the notes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that was the one I didn't even want to talk about. Oh, then fuck it. <laughs> what? I mean, we could talk, oh, talk about the, the news. I mean, um. If you remember what I was saw, I should have sent you the video so you all could have seen it. But oh yeah, okay. Now I remember what you was only talking about the Titanfall. You was talking about something about the AI and some trash or something. Yeah, they got pretty much. Um, you guys know I, this Titanfall game is getting a lot of hype right now because it's made by the original Infinity War. You know how people suck that Call of Duty Four dick. So, <laughs> um, this game is getting like mad hype, and I'm the only one that's sitting back like this shit is going to be garbage. I just know it's going to be garbage. Um. Pretty much, they have something called Popcorn AI, which is pretty much just bots. Um, the whole concept is, for all the people that are trash at the game, that aren't getting kills, they put out little bots up there that pretty much just stand out there and don't really do much. So other people that suck at the game could actually get kills and some points and stuff like that towards doing whatever you can do when you get a certain amount of kills. So pretty much it's, it's narrowing the whole skill gap because... Even if you're a dominant player, you still got those scrubs out there that's going to be able to kill things and get points because they're putting little bots out there that's just going to sit there and let themselves get killed. I'm trying to figure out why you sound surprised. I mean, we're talking about Infinity Ward here, the makers of Modern Warfare 2, Noob Tubes. Well, like, come on. I really wasn't surprised because I knew it was them, but I was thinking, like, maybe they were going to try to do something different. But they, like they actually put the same some boat. skill in the game? Maybe, yeah, maybe I mean, possibly. they made the original Call of Duty. <laughs> so uh-huh. I have faith. But right. let's uh, let's talk about my, the Xbox One and how this is such a next gen console. But no, no, not necessarily next Xbox One. Let's talk about what defines what exactly is a next gen console. Because I don't know if y'all heard the news. What was it? Dead Rising Three, Rise, Son of Rome? These games they don't even display in 1080p. Both these games display in 900p. First of all, what the fuck is that? Then second Actually. of all, they both run at 30 frames per second. These consoles still don't even run at 60 frames per second, and I don't care what any of you console fag boys say. Until you experience it, you need you don't say that 60 frames per second is pointless. Like you need that. Like motherfuckers was excited. Like yes, this runs at 30 frames per second. Like th- that's something that was being done last generation. Like it's a gimme. So what what are you exactly excited for? Yeah, let me give you a correction though. Okay, Rise is running at 900p. Oh. Uh, my bad. Yeah, Dead Rising 3 is one that got 720p, 30 frames per second, and it just barely got 30 frames per second. <laughs> it, it really did. It was struggling at first, and they did something, and now it's just barely getting it. So do do any of y'all, one of y'all two, do y'all TVs display in 900p? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to see half of the stuff on the television if it did that. I should have Googled, like, what the fuck is 900p, Joe? Like, like old LCD monitors back in, like, 05, like, 05 and 04 and all that used to be probably maxed out at 1600 by 900. That sounds like the Vita got a better better display for that <laughs> shit. <laughs> but look, look, this is this is us again. You got, you know, the comment section going to go in because we're talking about Xbox right uh, now. So. Man, man, it's news. We just talking about it. Get the fuck uh, over it. <laughs> Let's yeah. talk about Sony. Did you say Sony? Because uh, they think we're Xbox haters like we don't we hate on everybody nigga. <laughs> what's the day did you say that uh the PS4 it crashed during the Tokyo game show I didn't read about that what happened with that oh it didn't crash all right what happened was when they were trying to show it this was live on TV too when they were trying to show off the little feature with the controllers um she was trying to start prompts with the controller and it wasn't reacting and like they had another person come in try to press the buttons to get it to work and it just wasn't not it was not um working whatsoever and it was just it was just a bad moment for Sony so so Pretty much the controller function was just unresponsive. Now, they said pretty much because it's a lot of remote controls and stuff at the place, maybe that could have been the issue that caused it. 
but that's still a bad look, yo. That's yeah, a bad that look, nonetheless. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, is, yeah, so both consoles is fucking up, really. Yeah, it didn't crash like the Xbox. Like, it didn't straight blue screen and cut off like the Xbox was doing. But the hard, the, uh, the controllers and devices that go with it just weren't working very properly. So. I think the moral of the story is PC has Steam sharing. Everybody get on the PC. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but the moral of the story is, yo, if you're going to buy one of these consoles, definitely get a, uh, a plan, a service plan, a warranty to go with it. Yeah. Well, who ain't going like to buy a warranty? One, man. That's what I recommend. I never did. And I regret like, this Xbox 360. Oh, I didn't because mine was like three times. 1080p native and 60 frames per second. But now this news has come out that these games aren't even going to be running at it. So I don't I don't really don't get what's so next gen about it anymore i mean i think you're gonna have to give it a, at least another year for most of these games to actually be 1080p native yeah because like like you i mean i didn't even know this at first but you know most of the games now are upscaled to 1080p or even 720p so they're not really 1080p even though your tv says 1080p it's not 1080p and that's one thing that i didn't know until i got on the pc and actually did my research on it so get enlightened it's not 1080p, and probably these games that come out, they're not going to be 1080p either, so y'all can mm -hmm. suck it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I sure was about to say, is, is JG drunk tonight? Because he's been quiet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, to give them an excuse, yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, later on down the line, you know, they might increase the graphics. You know, they normally do have to learn how to use the, the console a little bit better. But for it to be tapping out this early, because if you remember from the Xbox 360, a lot of games ran at a, a pretty... Uh, a higher frame back in the day when the 360 and PS4 uh, 3s first came out. And then after a while, they started, you know, getting a little, Graphic a little lower. Yeah, and they, they, the, the frames per second dropped. But for I, them to be barely tapping out right now, like, that's a problem, yo. I think the <laughs> um, bottom line is, right. like, just wait. Just wait to buy a console. Wait, like, six months. I mean, because if you look at both lineups, what the hell do I want to play on the PS4 or the, or the uh, Xbox One? I mean, off the top of my head, I could think of... <laughs> It's Dead Rising 3. That's okay. going to be on the PC later on if you wait six no, months. No, so then I'm just going to wait. <laughs> Get the definitive version. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I really hope so because, I mean, the other ones were on PC. So All these dickheads hyping up the Xbox One to PS4. First of all, the Titanfall is not a launch title. That's a launch window title. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, PS4, same thing. Like, a lot of the games, they're not launch titles. They're launch windows. La on launch, Xbox One, PS4, you're going to be getting Assassin's Creed 4, Watch dogs, like all the shit that you're getting on your Xbox 360 and your PS3 or the PC, but they're gonna be higher res. But you might as well just play the PC version because it'll be better than both the, the Xbox. And they're versions. going to be ports, like, right. the, and, and I've already explained on my last video about ports and how I cannot stand ports. These games, I, I really doubt that they're going to be that much better on the Xbox One and the PS4. The games that already will be coming out on the Xbox 360 and the PS3, like Call of Duty and like Assassin's Creed like nba 2k 14 so i don't i don't know what you all are excited for because it's gonna be the same shit it might even be worse mm. so. I, I just can't wait to see these the comment section this daggone video because it's gonna be <laughs> so much i want to i think i'll call well they gonna call us pc elitists this time yeah they're gonna, yeah, they, PC elitists, definitely. They ain't gonna get on you to get and, but they probably yeah. gonna get on me because i'm always look i'm on the comment section more than mine i wouldn't even so i would definitely see your comments if you especially if you say something about me so I'm gonna get you know it all gonna that say something right now. now just to get a reaction. Yeah, they right. definitely are. Uh, I'm ignoring most of y'all. Take but a bobblehead, nigga. <laughs> <What's the name? laughs> yeah, some little corny joke. I'm just gonna look at him like, yo, you stupid. I'm not even gonna say nothing back to that. But I think it's just the moral of the story is just wait to buy these consoles, wait to see what they do. But uh, let, let, let's talk about something different. You know, we we talked about the two relevant consoles. Let's talk about. Poor Nintendo. And, you know, we're not Nintendo haters. Like, I, I grew up on Nintendo. It. I love Nintendo. I think when I talk about them negatively, it's coming from a place of love. We just want you to do better, you know, Nintendo. And it's just, once again, another week. There's no positive news for Nintendo. <laughs> First of all, Sega, I don't know if you guys, Sega by Atlas, the developer that um, they make a lot of JRPGs that are really good. And supposedly Nintendo was going to buy them, but they never did. And they lost that on that bet. First of all, how does Sega, you know, the company that's... Are they even... Is Sega relevant nowadays? Like, no. No. No, not really. It's not even the same people that ran the systems company anymore. It's just some people that just bought the name. How you let Sega outbid you on a top-notch Japanese studio that probably would have wanted to go to Nintendo? I'm trying to figure that out. And then on oh, top of that, I don't know if y'all heard, Nintendo is charging... First of all, they're bringing back the Wii U Sports 
and they're charging for the Wii U, not Wii, the Wii, Wii Sports. For, look at that. Isn't that confusing? Yeah, Wii Sports U. <laughs> imagine, imagine if you was a regular consumer in the store. You'd be like, there's a Wii and a Wii U. They'd be like, what? <laughs> but uh, That's how I was. I remember I used to work at Target. And like When the Wii U first came out. They should have called it the Wii, like, the Wii 2. That's all they should have called it. Like, and they was like, what? A Wii U? What is that? And I had to actually sit there and explain what it was. Like this right. shit was hilarious. Because they got they got the the casual audience that doesn't keep up with shit. So they should have just called it the Wii Two. So then you could use common sense. But Nintendo, you know Japanese folks, they do this shit different. Katamari Damashi. Um, yeah. That Nintendo, game. <laughs> Nintendo is charging ten dollars per, per mini game. You know, Wii Sports, that free game that came with your Nintendo Wii. They're charging ten dollars per sport on the Wii U. They're re-releasing it via virtual console. What? Album. Yeah, so yeah, man. boxing, ten dollars. <laughs> Golf, ten dollars. I'm laughing. I'm like, are you serious? Dog, you know, like, this is game. the ultimate L for Nintendo. Wow, <laughs> yo, only got one thing to say about that, yo. Everybody, go buy every single sport. Support Nintendo, yo. Go buy them. Buy every uh, single one of them. So how? Many, I, I don't remember because I didn't own a Wii. I always played it at the friend's house. How many mini games was on the Wii? On Wii Sports, it was like eight or five or something like that. You had you had baseball. boxing, boxing, tennis, bowling, baseball. Thumbnails. I only think it was like starts or something. Only Hotmus was bowling and tennis. Right. And yeah. baseball maybe a little bit. Base, baseball was cool too. So anyway, man, um like I said, man, everybody should just go out and buy that shit. Damn it. Support Nintendo. They should Nah still- man, you can't support that. That's some bullshit. I mean it is, but I'm saying how do you how do you uh, seriously justify how do you justify re releasing a game? Okay, you it's you, the give, but you give you give right. people okay, you give people online multiplayer, right? You give people online multiplayer, okay, finally, all right, so it's not a party game anymore. But you wanna you wanna really sit up here and charge people ten dollars per sport. Like this is killer instinct and you charge it per character. Like get the fuck out of here, man. If as soon it, as I heard that news, I just started laughing. I can't support that shit. If it wasn't for Nintendo, there would be no PlayStation or Xboxes. Man, come on, man. Yeah. Nintendo Nintendo should bow out of the hardware game and just make make their titles available for the other consoles. No. So they don't know how to do it right. Fuck them. Zelda no. on PlayStation. <laughs> Nintendo always I mean Nintendo always made bad decisions. Remember uh the Philips C D because Yes. Yeah, Nintendo Sony was, was born. I mean Sony. PlayStation was born because of that. They, they it, dickheads, man. It's supposed to merge with Sony and then it's, it's like nah I'm not we're gonna do Sony, we're gonna do Phillips. Because we don't want pay So if you guys wanna play Wii Sports on your Wii U, for all two people who own Wii U, you can pay fifty dollars for a free game. <laughs> <laughs> and uh that's all i got on my show notes for today so do you guys want to contribute any last things to the conversation um are we doing an outro or something yeah yeah i'm, no, I'm saying like anything else you want to talk about um yeah. unless you want to talk about the fights and that's it mayweather's a beast <laughs> yeah he's a he's a monster um, i like how that little judge tried to hate on him yeah like, oh yeah man she gotta get, get fired G. I'm, this is a second time dog it's a second time doing it yeah they need to get rid of her though. she's so trash man yeah what was the last fight she did that in um bradley yeah. and pacquiao pacquiao you know? yeah like uh, um, don't call that shit a tie you've had justin bieber oh fuck it it's, somebody said molly cyrus was even <laughs> they call that nigga molly cyrus this shit was funny it's I'm funny like, though Why Why'd you come out with Mayweather anyway? I was mad. I bought into the Canelo, the Canelo hype. Like Mayweather made me into a believer. I thought I knew I knew Mayweather would win, but I thought that Canelo would at least give him a run for his money. But Mayweather made me into a believer. I I went like immediately after that fight. I ordered two uh, money team snapbacks. I just got them in the mail the other day. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, but he is. He did. Mayweather did say he's gonna be coming up with Molly Cyrus next time. Oh my goodness! I hope she ain't twerking, dog. Oh my god, I'm I'm not watching this shit. I'm rooting rooting for Mayweather though, because he he said he got five more, so it's four more fights, and then he's gonna retire. So I hope he finished undefeated. I think. I hope he do too. I I don't think he should have picked that many fights though, but he must. It must be an agenda that he was going for. Next up is Adrian Broner. (laughs) Cool. Uh, I want to see him get knocked out. I don't like his attitude. Like Mayweather was bad. Yeah, Mayweather was bad, but he wasn't that bad though. Like this dude is just really bad. <laughs> like, he's just so disrespectful. He's like a it's cool. just so That's bad. All. He's a character, and he knows. He's a super cool. He's Fuck just... a cool. That nigga, that nigga is super he's cool. A, he says he's a super cool. Matter of fact, he's Super Mario in uh, Super Mario Three with the the, the Tanuki suit or whatever. <laughs> That's a cool right there for you. Um, and then what was it? The the John Jones fight. You, you two guys see that one? I ain't see it, so y'all can talk about that. Uh. Listen, it was all right. They, they was both fighting. I only saw the last two rounds. JG saw the whole thing, though. What happened, Jay? You want to explain what went down? 
Hey, yo, Gustafson, he actually surprised me. Dude was a uh, 15 to one, so he wasn't no joke. He actually gave John Jones a run for his money. They went all five rounds, and John Jones did not knock him out. And he actually got cut on his eye, and it was it was bleeding kind of bad. Uh, they both their faces was messed up. I didn't know uh, Swedish people were so tough. I only know Swedish people for Swedish fish. So. Yeah, dude. I mean, <laughs> dude, dude was getting him. He gave him his uh, he gave him the greatest fight to date for his title. Right. So he did really good. And um, and the fight was debatable. It was debatable. Yeah, too, who won. yeah, it was actually debatable. That, so Gustafsson might get a rematch. So, right, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a rematch. That it was, was a, it was a good fight though. But John Jones still won, so he's still the champ. They was still calling that the Nike. Oh yeah, I'm rooting for him. They was calling that the greatest heavyweight, uh, light heavyweight, uh, title defense ever. Yeah, you know, even though it went five rounds, which I don't, you know, I don't like anything going to the judge's decision, obviously, right. uh, you know, bullshit happens, like people calling it a tie and shit, when they clearly even no tie, but anyway. Um, hey, yo, hold on, I don't want to cut y'all off, I'm going to be real, though, this shit boring as fuck what we talking about, I'm bored as shit listening to y'all right now, that's just me. You mad that we got GTA 5 on PS3 and you playing on Xbox? I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that, too. Like, that's what I was about to bring up, though. And I'm like, yo, when Xbox, I mean, uh, when GTA Online come out, I'm going to be on the Xbox and y'all on the PS3, PS3, son. I'm like, you're trash, bro. Just saying that you bored. Anyway. I'm so mad, yo. Like I said, I hate you tonight because of Dallas Cowboys. Fuck you and the Cowboys. Dallas all day. How about them Cowboys? Look, let's wrap the show up. Yeah, we done with it. (laughs) All right, Tick, you got the floor. Give us your closing statement for tonight's show. All right, first off, you little dumbass anime dorks. This is Naruto you hear in the background, okay? That is Naruto's music, okay? I'm going to put something else in the background. Yeah, that'd be funny. But they still ask in the comments. comments Is that Naruto? (laughs) It's been been there since the second episode. Yeah, I I don't even watch anime, yo, but, like, I just heard from them saying it, like, man, yes, it's Naruto, yo. Support Nintendo, and I'm out. (laughs) JG, (laughs) can you give us your closing statements for what, hey, first of all, what episode is this? Episode five, I think? Yeah. Yeah, episode five, Game of the Illuminati. Closing statements, JG. Uh, Closing statements, uh, please, man, Finish. Uh, I, don't, I can't even start right now. Please finish Grand Theft Auto Five. You will be amazed, because I know all y'all niggas got it. So when you finish the game, you will enjoy it. And for the niggas who apparently do not play single player games, stop posting fucking videos. Just, just don't do it. I don't, I don't understand it. When Grand Theft Auto Online comes out, I know y'all niggas gonna be flossing this shit, talking about oh I got my house and all that. So y'all are gonna be some damn coons, but enjoy the story first. That's all I gotta say. And uh, my closing statement for tonight is all you idiots in the comment box who was calling me a Sony fanboy last episode, please shut the fuck up. I own a PS3, a Wii U, 360, two PCs, and two, P- two Macs. And I got a cell phone. They play games. You just flex they got, so hard. I, yeah, I just flex so hard. We and get I, money. And I got a cell phone. They got two gigabytes of RAM on it, just like the Wii U. <laughs> So shut your fucking mouth. I am not no fanboy. But anyway, this has been Game of Illuminati, episode five. I appreciate everybody who listened today. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to the iTunes version of the podcast. Link will be in the description box below. Thanks for listening, guys. And we'll see you next time. Shut up, go! Oh, 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 God. <laughs> <laughs> Got a badass chick, she gon' hold me down I'm with my team when I roll around That Dr. Pepper with that brown That's what, what, my finoose What, what, my finoose That's my finoose, that's my finoose